round and round it goes. Where the creepy, spooky tail light stops, nobody knows. Go ahead, Angela. It's your turn. Um... You want it to belong to our club, Angela. The admission is a true ghoulish tail. Okay. This is the true ghoulish tail of a... Um... Magic genie bottle. Yeah, that's it. A magic genie bottle. My true ghoulish tale is about a rich and pretty girl who finds a magic genie bottle. What was the genie's name? Uh... Temujin Shampoo. I mean, Temujin the genie. Let me tell you about her. She's, um, very pretty, and she has great hair. Wow! A woman genie? Is Temujin, like, 12 feet tall? Yeah, didn't I mention that? She's 12 feet tall. Is Temujin a wicked genie? Huh? Oh, yeah. Very wicked. Grrr. Does she have magic powers? Of course she has magic powers. Duh! Powers to destroy the world if she was uncorked from the bottle? Yeah, those two. to go. So as long as Temujin remains corked up in the bottle, the world is a safe place, right? Uh, yes, exactly. Otherwise, I'd introduce you to her. Well, gotta go. Why did you want to meet us with our allowances, Mona? I sense an ominous dark presence. A presence that goes by the name of Temujin. You didn't actually believe Angela's story. She just made it up to impress Lawrence. Maybe, and maybe not. Uh... Now, Moscato said St. Faith's is having a charity garage sale. It's the perfect opportunity for Mona the Vampire, Zatman, and Princess Giant to stock up on anti-genie stuff. Just in case. I'm here to collect donations for the St. Faith's Charity Garage Sale. Yes, come in. Oh, oh wait, here's something else. Egyptian Temujin shampoo bottle? Yes! It was empty, Angela. I gave it to Miss Gatto for the St. Face Charity Garage sale. What? No! Thank you, children. You're helping a very good cause. And you're helping us protect the world from very scary forces. Hey, wait! Look! Angela's magic genie bottle. What's it doing here? I don't know. Seventy-five cents? We'll give you forty-eight cents. Hmm. Okay. Yeah! I mean, deal. <laughs> Miss Gordo! My bottle? Oh, yes. Thank you. 
Thank you, Angela. I just sold it to Mona, Charlie, and Lily. No! If Temujin the genie granted Angela a wish, maybe she could do the same for us. Yeah, maybe. But this is a powerful force we're dealing with, gang. Allowing Temujin out of her bottle could result in catastrophe. Maybe we don't have to let her out to make a wish. Hmm. If we could just meet Temujin without letting her out of her bottle. You know, talk to her, reason with her. I've got it! This mystifier will convert us into a cloud-like mist. Lily pulls the cork. That man and Mona the vampire infiltrate Temujin's bottle. Lily puts the cork back in before Temujin escapes. <laughs> This may be one of her tricks. <laughs> I'm Mona the Vampire. This is that man. Are you Temujin the Genie? That's me. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Nobody wants me. I'm useless. What are you talking about? I'm a class one genie. Graduated with honors, I might add. It's my job to grant wishes. Ever since I granted Angela and her family the wish, they just don't call on me anymore. You mean the winning the lottery wish? Exactly! The lottery! Do I get a thank you? A hug? A pat on the back, even? No! Angela won't even let me out of my bottle! It's stuffy in here, you know! So you're not a wicked genie? Gosh, no! Angela doesn't want to let me out because I'll grant everyone wishes! So if we let you out, you won't do any damage? You won't destroy the world? No, of course not. I'll give Princess Giant the green light. <laughs> Lily, telephone. I'm busy, Mom. It's your friend Angela. She says it's very important. Something about a genie named Temujin. OK. Trust a genie? And besides, you didn't let me out of my bottle. I escaped. And there's only one way I'm going back. You and your little friends will have to defeat me. You can run, but you can't hide. Zapman, ah! use your zapparangs while Princess Giant sets up a power shield. What's up? We 
just defeated Temujin the genie. Really? Give me back my bottle. I'm taking my magic genie bottle and going home. I don't want to belong to your stupid club. I'm going to start my own club. Coming, Lawrence? No, thanks. I've joined the astronomy club. I'm on the way to my first meeting. See you. Huh. Do you think we could trust Angelo with Temujin? Yeah. What if Temujin gets out? I don't think we have to worry about that. Comic books in the class time capsule? Yep. As a collector of fine popular culture, this is my contribution to future generations. Nobody will care about your faded old comic books when they see this. What's in the cage, George? Can't say. It's a surprise. What is Mona contributing? Her collection of vampire slime and ghost fangs? Uh, that's ghost slime and vampire fangs, Angela. Whatever. A nice gesture, Clifford, but I don't think your dog would be an appropriate contribution to the time capsule. All right, who'd like to make the next addition to our year 3000 time capsule? Uh... Okay, George. I've got the coolest thing for the capsule, Miss Gatto. Ta-da! But, but he was right here. My lizard. Lizard? I don't get it. <clears throat> How inventive. Well, perhaps while you're looking for it, we'll have... Angela! Yes, let's see what's in Angela's pretty box. I want everyone in the future to remember me as a famous collector of precious dolls. Hmm. Now, this one is Chicky. She only speaks when you pull the cord on her back. I wish Angela worked like that. I love you, Angela. She was personalized just for me. This is Mitzi Munchalot, who actually eats real food. And that's my 101st doll. My next one. Thank you so much, Angela. That's all the time we have for today. That was the creepiest display of gratuitous wealth I've ever seen. Now it's time to work on your independent study projects. Aww. Put all the remaining items for the capsule on my desk, and we'll finish those presentations tomorrow. <gasps> Check this out. saw what we saw, didn't we? My vampire senses are tingling. Those dolls are alive. I bet my bat wings on it. <laughs> the 
There's nothing earthly about this crime, Miss Gatto. The explanation is simple. These dolls came to life last night. I'll get to the bottom of who is responsible for this caper. to be tossed around, but mine do not. Your dolls are alive. You're weird. All right, everyone, open up your class journals and get into your writing groups. Keep an eye on those dolls. First sign of trouble, and we're on them. Seats, please. Why don't you two go outside and get some fresh air? Living dolls, indeed. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Don't touch anything. Now's our chance. Tell me you have a plan. Got you. Charlie, help me keep this lid down. <laughs> Missed me. <laughs> Quick, Charlie, toss me that doll. Thank you, Charlie. How very thoughtful of you. I trust that neither of you have been touching things which don't belong to you. No, no Miss Gatto. Find anything on living dolls yet? Nothing yet. Maybe we should ask Angela about them. Angela may be one of them herself. Did you see how much that chicky doll looked like her? Here's something. To deanimate a living doll, you must identify and neutralize its power source. What part of chicky is the power source? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me see. About. Oh, it's only my robot babysitter. <sighs> yes, robot babysitter says less screaming, more cleaning. <laughs> Seriously, Mona, you'd better clean up this bedroom before your folks get home. And close the window, it's cold in here. The coast is clear. My android babysitter Belinda must have scared them off. dolls come to life. If you don't like it, just remove the batteries. Of course! That's it! The batteries are their power source! Yep, and I have an idea. Success! 
like Chicky. You, you stole my Chicky. I did not. She followed me home. She was a living doll until we neutralized her. Miss Gordo, my doll! I know, Angela. I read about it in the paper. Your dolls are being recalled by the factory because of faulty wiring that may cause them to walk on their own or spin their heads around. See? They weren't alive, Mona. It's just a malfunction. Well, how do you explain the bite mark in Miss Gatto's apple? Lizzie! He was the one causing all the trouble. He may have even put that doll in your bag, Mona. Well, I guess our mystery has been solved. Explain it how you like. I know what I saw. Hey, one of my dolls is still missing. Mitzi Munchalot. Where is she, Mona? Hmm. That's a very good question. Thank <laughs> you.